Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to another video for, to end off this week, we're going to be talking about the Justice League. Now, been a bit, been a bit DC heavy, no, not really, it's been, it's been quite average. Now, to talk about Justice League, obviously it was like meant to be a semi-copy of Avengers, did it live up to it, did it not? Let's find out in this review. Well, already judging by the score, 6.3 out of 10 on IMDb, 40% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 4.3 out of 5 on Metacritic, it tells us otherwise, so it, it's not, it ain't do the biggest draw, but let's go with the film. So this takes place just after Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Superman is dead, he has died in that film, and they don't think he's going to be coming back. Now, Bruce Wayne, Batman, thinks that there's going to be a, a bigger threat coming, so he wants to assemble a team. He talks to Wonder Woman about it and says there could be this big potential threat coming. She doesn't think much of it at first right now, but eventually after... Um, eventually after, there's this guy called Steppenwolf, and he attacks these areas to try and get three cubes. So he starts off by attacking... Uh, the Wonder Woman area, Amazonia, I think that's what's called. He starts by attacking them, steals a cube, he attacks Atlantis, steals their cube, and the last cube's on Earth. While he's doing that, Bruce Wayne and Wonder Woman are trying to recruit some people. So obviously Wonder Woman's already in on this Justice League idea. So then Batman finds the Flash, Barry Allen, he agrees basically I'm straight away to do it. He tries to talk to Aquaman. But he, Aquaman has no interest, he does want to do it, so he just leaves him alone after that, after a little bit. They find Cyborg, Wonder Woman talks to him at first and to try and convince him a little bit. Again, not much going on right there straight away, but it, it gets back to it. Then, <coughs> sorry. Then, then what happens is they go after... I think there's like, there starts to be an attack of like monsters and stuff and they have to try and fight it. They end up eventually in a sewer and there's about to be a massive flood until Aquaman just comes in and stops it because Atlantis was attacked so he wants to know what's going on, more information about all that that's happening. Bruce eventually gets them all together and tells them the plan but at first he's like, I need Superman to be alive so he wants to remake Superman, he wants to bring him back to life for for this reason so he tells them they're a bit off on the idea at first but they agree to it and he goes to the area where I think what's his name, Doomsday was created and they put Superman's body there they do all this stuff and then they remake Superman but when Superman comes back to life, he's quite angry, he's quite mad straight away, so he starts like fighting, getting annoyed. He, he like basically kicks the asses off the Justice League to start with. And he goes straight for Batman, and he's like, Why did you bring me back to life? You won't let me live? You won't let me die? He's like, The world needs you, but does it need you? So he's about to kill him until Lois Lane shows up. All his memories are back. And then he just takes Lois away, and then he'll eventually be back to help the guys. So that all goes well to start with. And then Stefan Wolf eventually decides to invade Earth. He does this, he got this like army of fiends and stuff like that. I don't know where quite the location of where the box was, I can't remember. But, like, he gets this army of fiends in, like, this rural village area. They all start to attack. They need to go there, fight off a bunch of monsters. And the plan is to, like, overload the circuits and stuff like that. Or overload something to destroy the box so someone cannot come back to life. They eventually get their start fighting. Um, go on for a bit. They hold him off fairly well to start with. Then he's like... And he's like, I'm just too powerful. Stefan wants to like Kevin Owens. And then Superman comes in, kicks his ass, and basically just like saves the day, basically, is what he does. Because that's what that's what Superman does. That's what Superman does. 
they eventually get to what they need to do. Stop Steppenwolf, blow up some stuff, save a person from the village. And then... And then they eventually become a team. They all get together and everything works out just fine. Now, I don't think it deserves this low of a rating. I mean, I can see like why they didn't think it was super good, but I honestly did not mind it that much. I didn't think it was awful. I didn't think it was that bad. It's again, I think a lot of these critics are like just hating on DC films for the sake of it. Because I didn't mind it. I thought it was alright. I'm hoping eventually maybe they'll add Green Lantern into it at some point, but they either might need to remake a movie or do Green Lantern 2 to get him in there. But, and give me a sec. Okay. So I'm going to give the, I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10 stars. I honestly did not think it was the worst film ever. I would, I would say they've done the best they can with the film, being a two hour long film. It's not an awful film, is is the thing. It, 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 I, I, yeah, I honestly think they're just getting hated on for no good reason, but I think I think it has potential there. I think it deserves a higher percentage or higher rating, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven because I think it's a fairly decent film. We haven't seen it. I think it's, I think it might be on Netflix right now. I'm not sure, but you might as well go check for yourself. All right, that's uh, that's the film review done for for today, and I believe this one's probably coming out last. So that should be the one for the end of the week. So we'll see you next week for a whole new list of film reviews. All right then, bye.